welcome. Family, movies brief here. Today, I am going to explain a Korean comedy drama film called Granny's Got Talent. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The protagonist of the movie is an old woman known as Granny. She has been living in prison for the past few decades for not paying her debts. A day before getting out, she boasts about her son's achievements to her cellmates. Her older son works in a prestigious company, while her younger one is a musician. Despite both of them having different fathers, they are both diligent like her. Granny gets out of the prison the next day, but no one comes to pick her up. While she is in a subway, she witnesses a middle-aged man harassing a young girl. Since no one else intervenes, she speaks up for the girl and cusses the man. The entire crowd is stunned to hear her vocabulary of curse words. Granny's been to jail. They'd be even more stunned if she shanked him. At the next stop, she kicks the man out. Granny's elder son is named Sung Hyun. He works an average job at a prestigious company and is always disrespected by his coworkers. When Sung Hyun was little, Granny's debt collectors used to yell at him because of her. On being sentenced to prison, she left him in an orphanage, because of which he has hated her his entire life. Sung Hyun lives with his wealthy in-laws and has been working hard to someday buy a house of his own and move in with his wife and son. Somewhere else, a media company thinks of an exciting television program to bring in revenue. They organize a non-censored cursing competition. The only problem is that they are short on participants. P.D. Yang and her associate are given the responsibility to look for the top insulters of the city. Granny's younger son, Ju Hyun, is unemployed and lives off his wife's income. They welcome Granny in their house, mostly because she hands his wife a bundle of money as a gift. Granny should probably use that money to pay her damn debts. Granny finds out that her elder son is living with his in-laws. She knows that he dislikes her, but still wants to meet him. So, she pays a man to land her the job as a maid at his house. The next day, she goes to his house for the first time and is briefed about her job by the previous maid. The maid also mentions that Sung Hyun's mother-in-law wants the housemaid to be fluent in English. Granny says a few English words to make her believe she is in fact fluent. Although it is difficult to work as a maid at her age, she doesn't mind as long as she gets to see her son, daughter-in-law, and grandson. For the past few days, P.D. Yang and her associate have been looking for foul-mouthed people of the town. They hear about Granny from someone and set out to look for her. Granny finally meets Sung Hyun, but he isn't happy to see her. He ignores her entirely and gets in a car with the chairman of his company and his mother-in-law. The chairman also sees Granny, who reminds him of a kind lady he had met once when he was in prison. The lady had stopped him from committing suicide, so he has always been thankful to her. Granny cannot sleep at night because of her son's indifference to her arrival. She walks to a nearby park and screams profanities to no one. P.D. Yang, who is also at the park, hears her but cannot find her in the dark. This conflict is ridiculous. Starting the next day, she and her associate stay at the park, waiting for the foul-mouthed old lady. The next day, Sung Hyun's mother-in-law brings an English teacher to test if Granny lied about her qualifications. The teacher quickly catches up to her lie and reveals she does not know how to speak English. The mother-in-law is furious and wants to fire her, but Sung Hyun's wife insists they do not need someone who speaks in English just to do household work. When Granny returns home that day, she hears Ju Hyun and his wife arguing. It turns out that he gambled away the money she had given them. Ju Hyun and Granny go to the park where he reveals that he needs a lot of money to pay off his debt. Just then, P.D. Yang finds Granny and asks her to be in their show. At first, Granny declines the offer, but P.D. Yang doesn't stop trying to persuade her. Eventually, she agrees to do it for the $300,000 prize money. Finally, the auditions for the swearing competition take place. The judges dismiss most of the contestants because they do not match their standards. When it is Granny's turn to audition, she is blinded by the spotlight and cannot speak. Come on, Granny, you can do it. Say f one of the judges makes fun of her for being old, which triggers her. She curses her heart out at the judge and gets instantly selected. Somewhere else, Sung Hyun's wife and his mother-in-law go to meet the chairman's wife to maintain their social status. While waiting for her, they discuss Granny's behavior and how she lied about her qualifications. As they talk, the mother-in-law also suggests the wife divorce a loser like Sung Hyun. They mistakenly leave Granny's CV with her picture on the table. 
When the chairman's wife arrives a while later, she recognizes Granny as an old friend who she respects the most. It turns out that although she is wealthy, she had once stolen Granny's money and was the reason that she had to leave her kids and go to jail. She feels very sorry for Granny and plans to meet her to ask for forgiveness. At work, when everyone is out, Granny gets some alone time with her grandson for the first time. She picks him up from the bus stop and takes him to the park. The kid's parents are always busy, so he is delighted to finally have someone to play with. They spend the entire day together, playing and learning. When his mother returns home, she sees that the kid is silently eating food on his own. She is impressed by Granny's skills because it has always been difficult for her to feed her son. Granny teaches her a few tricks about parenting, after which she decides not to fire her. The next day, they shoot the first episode of the cursing competition. Granny has to go against several youngsters, but she is confident because no one is as good as her. She makes some of them cry with only her words. One of them even passes out, not being able to handle the profanities. Nothing beats insults from the 50s. She also goes against a beatboxer who makes inappropriate hand gestures. Just when everyone thinks she is about to lose this one, she claps back with even filthier movements that make the guy almost cry. At the end of the episode, Granny gathers many fans around Korea. Because of her, the program is a hit. The chairman's wife, who has stolen money from the granny, sees her on TV and finds out where she lives. While working at Sung Hyun's home, she makes sure to try to reconnect with him. She also discovers a photo album in his cabin with an old picture of her. This makes her hope that her son will eventually forgive her. One day, she meets the chairman's wife and her friend on the street. The women beg for forgiveness for their deeds. Although their mistake had caused Granny to be separated from her children, she forgives them and tells them that she doesn't want the money back. In the next episode of the cursing competition, a lawyer is made to go against a girl. It is almost impossible to win against the lawyer, who uses his knowledge of the Constitution to argue. Meanwhile, Granny goes against a rapper who freestyles his diss, but after cursing at the audience to yell louder and hyping them up, Granny wins this round as well. The producer of the show is over the moon after the broadcast. The ratings have skyrocketed because of Granny. To stir more drama, he sends people to find out about Granny's past so her opponents can use it to diss her. As soon as Twitter exists, this producer is getting cancelled. One day, Granny is with Sung Hyun's wife, visiting the market, when she sees a shopkeeper hitting his wife. She calls him out for it and throws profanities at him. The people around her start to recognize her, so she quickly walks back to the house. Granny and Sung Hyun's wife start to get along well. Moreover, Sung Hyun's son treats her like his own grandmother, even though he doesn't know it. Sung Hyun, on the other hand, has finally gathered enough money to buy a house. He asks his real estate agent for a house with three bedrooms, just in case Granny wants to stay with them. He, too, is opening up to his mother. For the next episode, Granny is made to go against the lawyer while pretending to be his wife. She makes fun of the size of his appendage, making everyone laugh. Her jokes turn into memes, which makes her even more famous. She wins against the unbeatable lawyer and reaches the final round. The lawyer is enraged by the loss and humiliation he had to face on national television. To take revenge on Granny, he digs up her past and finds out that she abandoned her sons and is an ex-con. Soon, the word goes around and the man Granny kicked out of the train testifies against her on TV. As the news spreads, random people join the bandwagon, coming out with false accusations against her. People find out that Sung Hyun and Ju Hyun are her sons. Sung Hyun's colleague, who already thought he was a loser, makes fun of him because of his mother. This triggers the trauma that Sung Hyun has been suppressing his entire life. Moreover, his mother-in-law also finds out about his mother and blames him for bringing his ex-con mother into their house. Taking the opportunity, she declares that her daughter is divorcing him soon. What a great day for Sung Hyun. Granny gets on her knees and begs the woman not to ruin her son's life just because she is mad at her. However, the mother-in-law kicks her out of the house after insulting her. When Granny returns home, Ju Hyun is furious at her. He hadn't known that she had been working as a maid at Sung Hyun's house. He hates the fact that his mother favors his elder brother more than him. The two get into a huge argument when suddenly, Granny starts to cough uncontrollably. Ju Hyun and his wife go to the doctor and show him the medicine that Granny takes, only to find out that she has a weak heart and probably has had a few heart attacks while she was in prison. That night, Granny gets a call from Sung Hyun's wife, who informs her that he hasn't returned home. Granny goes to his work and asks his colleagues about him, but they too have no answer. She doesn't agree to leave until they tell her where he is, which causes a huge fuss in the office. 
The chairman notices this and comes out of his cabin. He instantly recognizes Granny as the woman who saved his life in prison. He kneels in front of her in gratitude, surprising his employees. They finally listen to Granny's request and kindly tell her that they haven't seen Sung Hyun since the previous day. Meanwhile, outside the studio, a crowd has gathered to protest against the cursing competition, claiming that it is immoral for giving an ex-con a platform. The last episode is about to begin, but Granny hasn't come to the set. In the following scene, we see Sung Hyun in his car. Nothing in his life is going right, so he has decided to commit suicide. He drives into a wall and falls unconscious. In the meantime, Granny goes to the studio, but is clearly not ready for the last round. On top of that, she has to go against another old woman who hasn't lost a single round until now. The competition gets more difficult for Granny when it is announced that they have to fight like a mother and son. Her opponent goes as a son and insults her, but when it is Granny's turn to speak, she stays silent. A man from the audience throws an egg to her face, humiliating her in front of everyone. She speaks for the first time and claims that everyone who is cursing at her right now is right. Instead of insulting the opponent, Granny explains how she has been a horrible mother to her kids. At last, she breaks down crying and says that she loves her children dearly. As she gives the heartfelt speech, Sung Hyun crawls out of the car and is saved by people nearby. Granny's words inspire many people from around the country. They start to yell profanities at everything that has been bothering them in life. Granny's opponent goes silent and she finally wins the competition. However, she vomits blood and falls unconscious right after. She is admitted to the hospital where Sung Hyun comes to see her and calls her mom for the first time in decades. Granny is now surrounded by her family who loves her dearly. She soon gets well and comes out of the hospital as a celebrity. The women who had stolen from her agree to return all the money with interest. Sung Hyun's mother-in-law sees Granny's connections and apologizes to her. At the end of the movie, she gets inside a car to fly to America for heart surgery. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.